Hey guys, Shion Andrew Stigley out of the United Martial Arts Center. Another martial arts tip that we like to do here, we call it the face mush. Uh, and we do it in our taijitsu and self-defense all the time, and we teach the women to do it in their women's self-defense. And somebody just brought up to me in a, in a topic that they, they saw it in a um, combative situation, combative class, which I thought was a little odd. So this is what we call the face mush, okay? If the attacker comes in, even if it's a grab, we go for the face. But you don't have to have any technique. All what you have to do is just grind it. Like I'm gonna pretend that my hand is made out of sand here, but just push it across. What are you thinking? Something's in my face. Dude. Something's in my face. You don't like that, do you? No, sir. All right, so pretend I didn't do that. Yes. All right, so he throws a punch. I block. Got to come in close. Hand goes to the head. This could be a shot. It could be a strike. But before he has his conscious thoughts about him, I'm gonna grind into the face. I'm gonna manipulate his entire body and all of his actions with a face mush. Some people have face white, face grind. You can go to a claw, like a karate technique, claw and do it. Um, but again, it doesn't matter what the techniques are. I didn't know what he's got there, he's gonna grab me. So I just brought my hands up to a default position, and then from here, into the face, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell him to do another technique. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm gonna tell him to do another technique as I implement the face Mush. Ready? Yes. Whatever you want to do. Go. He's gone. Let's bring him back. So what happens here is once my hand is on him, I start mushing around or whatever, you can't think of anything except get the hand out of his face. And anything he does is going to be off balance or redirected. It's just a, a state of confusion. Mass confusion, right? Yes. All right, so again, uh, yeah, let's do a chill. Okay. He's doing a choke, and I'm going to tell him to choke really hard, really hard. He's got a pretty good grip. Really hard. Ugh. Okay, keep going. Let's see who wins. Ready? Seriously? This. Come on. Okay. Come on, fight it. I want you to fight with your head, fight with your neck, lean into it. This. Okay, face mush. Okay, one more time, put a punch. Right into the body, I'm gonna turn his head around and grind into the face. We'll get rid of him again. Okay, we also use this face mush in grappling and ground control. Okay, because he wants to fight me, I need to defend myself. The thing is we say here all the time is we need to win, we need to go home. Okay, so maybe he wants to start punching from here, pull me into a guard or something. He's pretty good at this. We've done this before. Okay, so he's got all this control. However, I can take all his control, all of his conscious thoughts away just by grinding into the face. He has to get my hand out of his face, which leaves his hand open. So I'll shoot again for the face. Shoot again for the face. Shoot again for the face. And sooner or later, he's going to try and, and get away, escape, and start all over or run away. Okay? And let's see, let's put it in full guard here. Okay? He's got me in a full guard. Uh, maybe he's really good. I can't get out. Can't get out. I can't get out. He's trying to grab my arms. Again, I'm going to go right through this face mush. I'm just going to drive right in. I'm going to drive right in. Grab whatever I can. His nose, his eyes, his ears. Okay? Throat too. Eyes, ears, nose, and throat, just like we teach the women. Because I'm going home. He wants to fight me. I want to win. Face mush. Go practice.